Things you must know if you have a fatty liver. Hey there, liver lovers. Today's video is all about fatty livers. Before you start thinking about some kind of buttery, flaky pastry, hold up. We're talking about the fatty liver that can cause serious health issues. But don't worry, we're not here to scare you. We're here to give you the lowdown on what a fatty liver is, what causes it, and what you can do about it. We'll even throw in some jokes to keep things light, because hmm, who doesn't love a good liver pun? So grab a cup of coffee, sit back, and let's dive into everything you need to know if you've got a fatty liver. Causes of fatty liver To begin, we'll talk about the causes of fatty liver. Several things can contribute to this condition from diet and lifestyle choices to genetic factors. But don't worry, we're not here to point fingers, we're here to give you the lowdown on what you need to know. So let's dive in and learn about the various causes of fatty liver. Lifestyle and diet Let's face it, we all love our burgers and fries, but a diet high in saturated and trans fats can take a toll on your liver. And if your idea of exercise is getting up to grab a bag of chips, well, you might be in trouble. Don't worry though, you don't have to give up all the good stuff. Just make sure you're balancing it out with some fruits and veggies and maybe a walk around the block now and then. Alcohol consumption. We're not here to judge. We enjoy a good drink too, but excessive alcohol consumption can lead to a buildup of fat in your liver, which can cause serious problems. So maybe skip that third margarita and opt for some water instead. Your liver will thank you. Obesity and insulin resistance. It's no secret that obesity is linked to various health issues, including fatty liver. And if you're also dealing with insulin resistance, i.e. your body isn't processing sugar properly, that's just a recipe for disaster. So it's time to put down the donuts and make healthier choices. Trust us, your liver will appreciate it. Medications Believe it or not, some medications can actually cause fatty liver. So if you're on any kind of medication, be sure to talk to your doctor about the potential side effects. And if they do mention fatty liver, don't panic. Just keep an eye out for any symptoms and let them know if you start experiencing anything out of the ordinary. Genetics Unfortunately, some of us are just predisposed to developing fatty liver. It's not fair, but it's true. If you have a family history of liver issues, monitoring your liver health and making any necessary lifestyle changes is especially important. And hey, at least you can blame your genes instead of your love of cheeseburgers. Symptoms of fatty liver now let's take a look at the common symptoms of a fatty liver. Fatigue. First up, we have fatigue. If you've been feeling more tired than usual, it could be a symptom of fatty liver. And if you're like me, you're probably thinking, great, now I have to add more to my to-do list. Sleep more and eat healthier. But in all seriousness, fatigue can be a sign of more serious liver issues, so it's important to pay attention to it. Abdominal discomfort. Next we have abdominal discomfort. And let's be real, who hasn't experienced some sort of stomach issue at some point in their life? But if you're experiencing pain or discomfort in your abdomen, especially on the right side, it could be a sign of a fatty liver. So don't just brush it off as indigestion or gas. Pay attention to your body and get it checked out. Jaundice. Moving on to jaundice. Now this one sounds scarier than it actually is. Jaundice is when your skin and eyes turn yellow due to a buildup of bilirubin in your blood. And while it's not necessarily a symptom of fatty liver, it can be a sign of more serious liver issues. So it's important to get it checked out by a doctor. Enlarged liver. Next we have an enlarged liver. And no, this doesn't mean you've been hitting the gym too hard. An enlarged liver can be a sign of many things, including fatty liver. So... If you notice that your stomach seems to be protruding more than usual, or you can feel your liver when you press on your abdomen, it's time to see a doctor. Spider angiomas. Last but not least, we have spider angiomas. And no, this isn't a fancy name for spider veins. Spider angiomas are when small blood vessels appear on your skin and can be a sign of liver disease, including fatty liver. So if you notice these little spiders popping up in your skin, it's time to get your liver checked out. Diagnosis of fatty liver. If you love indulging in deep fried foods, sugary treats, and maybe a few too many cocktails on the weekends, listen up. Next up, we'll talk about something that may be affecting you without you even realizing it, fatty liver disease. 
Fatty liver disease, also known as hepatic steatosis, is a condition where excess fat accumulates in the liver. It can be caused by several factors, including a poor diet, excessive alcohol consumption, and certain medications. The good news is that fatty liver disease is reversible, but the first step is getting a proper diagnosis. So, how do you know if you have a fatty liver? Let's dive in and find out. Physical exam. If you suspect that you might have a fatty liver, the first step is to see your doctor for a physical exam. During the exam, your doctor will check for any signs of an enlarged liver or tenderness in the abdominal area. They may also ask you questions about your lifestyle and eating habits. Blood tests. Blood tests are another way to diagnose fatty liver disease. Your doctor will look for elevated levels of liver enzymes in your blood, which can be a sign of liver damage. They may also test your blood sugar and cholesterol levels, as these can be indicators of metabolic syndrome commonly associated with fatty liver disease. Imaging tests. Imaging tests such as ultrasound, CT, or MRI scans can also diagnose fatty liver disease. These tests can provide a clear picture of the liver and show any signs of fat accumulation. They can also help your doctor rule out other conditions that may be causing your symptoms. Biopsy. In some cases, your doctor may recommend a liver biopsy to confirm a diagnosis of fatty liver disease. During a biopsy, a small piece of tissue is taken from the liver and examined under a microscope for signs of fat accumulation or inflammation. So, these are the four main ways to diagnose fatty liver disease. Remember, it's always best to consult your doctor if you're experiencing any symptoms or have concerns about your liver health. In the meantime, why not swap out those greasy fast food meals for healthy, nutrient-rich options? Treatment and Management Fatty liver disease is a common condition that can affect anyone, but it's often associated with unhealthy lifestyle habits. Fortunately, there are many things you can do to manage the condition and prevent it from getting worse. Now we'll go over some of the most effective treatment and management strategies so you can take charge of your health and live your best life. Lifestyle Changes Diet You are what you eat, and so is your liver. A healthy diet can go a long way in managing fatty liver. Cut back on processed foods, sugary drinks, and saturated fats. Instead, opt for a balanced diet rich in fruits, vegetables, whole grains, and lean protein. But hey, we all have our cheat days, so don't forget to treat yourself once in a while. Exercise Exercise helps in shedding those extra pounds and improves liver health. Aim for at least 30 minutes of moderate-intensity exercise daily, like brisk walking, jogging, or cycling. Trust me, your liver will thank you for it. Weight loss. Losing weight is one of the most effective ways to manage fatty liver. Even a small weight loss of 5-10% to 10 can significantly affect liver health. Limiting alcohol consumption. Alcohol and liver health don't go hand in hand. Limit your alcohol consumption to one drink per day for women and two drinks per day for men. But let's be honest, who stops at one or two drinks? So, moderation is the key here. Medications There are no specific medications to treat fatty liver, but your doctor may prescribe medications to manage associated conditions like diabetes, high blood pressure, or high cholesterol levels. Alternative therapies Herbal supplements some herbal supplements like milk thistle, dandelion root, and artichoke extract are believed to benefit liver health. But before taking any herbal supplements, talk to your doctor, as they may interact with other medications you're taking. Acupuncture Acupuncture, an ancient Chinese therapy, is gaining popularity in managing fatty liver. It involves inserting thin needles into specific points on the body to stimulate energy flow and promote healing. Yoga and Meditation Stress is not good for your liver. Practicing yoga and meditation can help in reducing stress and improving liver health. Plus, it's a great excuse to wear comfy yoga pants all day long. Complications of Fatty Liver Now let's talk about how complicated or harmful a fatty liver can be. Non-alcoholic steatohepatitis, NASH If you're a fan of acronyms, NASH is one you don't want to remember. Non-alcoholic steatohepatitis, or NASH for short, is a fancy way of saying your liver is inflamed and damaged. And no, this isn't a result of too many wild parties or heavy drinking. We know you're innocent. NASH can happen even if you're a teetotaler. 
But it's not just a fancy name. NASH can lead to serious problems like liver scarring, which can eventually lead to cirrhosis. More on that in a bit. Cirrhosis. Speaking of cirrhosis, this is another complication that you don't want to mess around with. It's not just a fun word to say. Try it. Cirrhosis. It's a condition where your liver is permanently damaged and scar tissue replaces healthy tissue. And if you thought NASH was bad, cirrhosis is even worse. It can cause liver failure and you might need a liver transplant, which is not a walk in the park, trust us. So if you're serious about taking care of your liver, you need to keep an eye out for signs of cirrhosis, like jaundice, which makes you look like you've been in the sun for too long, easy bruising, and a swollen abdomen, which we know you don't want. Liver cancer. And if NASH and cirrhosis weren't enough, we need to discuss one more fatty liver complication, liver cancer. Yes, you heard that right. Fatty liver can increase your risk of liver cancer. And while we're not trying to scare you, well, maybe a little, it's important to know the risks. So, it might be time to make changes if you're not caring for your liver. Cut back on junk food, exercise more, or at least move a little, and talk to your doctor if you're worried about your liver. Well folks, that's it for today's video on things you must know if you have a fatty liver. If you made it this far, congratulations, you're officially liver educated. But before we go, a quick reminder, just because your liver has some extra fluff doesn't mean you can't still treat it right. Remember to lay off the greasy burgers and opt for some leafy greens now and then. And if you're feeling up for it, a liver friendly joke or two can't hurt either. So give your liver some love because it's the only one you've got. And if you're looking for more health tips and witty commentary, be sure to hit that subscribe button and join our liver-loving community. See you in the next video!